Hey babe. Hey babe. Hey babe. Hey babe. What? Do you know why people like watching our videos? Why? Because I'm punny. <laughs> Alright, hey guys. So, we're getting a little bit of a late start today. Today, we all, this week, and we only have one day to do all the things we need to get done. But I was putting all the tools into my toolbox and I realized for all my building tools that it was too small. So I had to run to the store this morning and actually go pick up a new uh, toolbox, uh, which you'll probably see in the video as well. Luckily, the uh, soon-to-be wifey was completely cool with it and was like, yeah, you definitely need to do it. Let's go ahead and get a bigger one so you can fit all the tools we need them. So anyways. You're welcome. So today, uh, what do we got to get done today? So we got to work on the chicken brooder. Okay. We have to build a roof for the chickens run. Mm -hmm. And we got to do the heating system for the chicken coop. Yes. Yeah, because we're in Oregon and sometimes it does like to get below those temperatures and we want to be able to produce eggs even in the colder months. We're going to work on that. So let's go check it out. But first, hit the like button. Maybe leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay up to date on all our content. Hey guys, so we have to do some stuff to the chicken brooder, but first we'll go over what we've already done. So they love to throw the wood pellets into their water and their food and we were sick of having to empty it like 10 times a day. So we went ahead and used a pallet and put chicken wire over it and then put their food on top of it. So they have to go on top of that to go eat or drink. And then the shavings aren't piling up in their food. The only downside is a lot of the food does fall through it, but it's a trade that we decided was worth it for us to make. We also have put the plate in so that they can just go under it for heat instead of the light, while we also still do the light since they are in the garage, so they know when it's daytime. That way at night it's easier for them to sleep. Then the light can just be their day-night schedule. But today we have to go ahead and put cardboard along the entire bottom of this because it is shiny and they love to peck at the bottom and it's getting annoying having to come fix the shavings and try to redirect chickens. It doesn't work. <laughs> but that's what we're gonna be up to today. Always the first one I'm able to grab. Every time. As you can see, they can fly now, which is why this is over it. Now that all seven are in there, they're a little quieter, but still unhappy that we moved them. They'll be much happier in a minute. All right guys, so we took this and we actually put it over top of the stock pond itself and then we uh, traced it around. Well, that actually goes to the outer edge, so we're gonna be going about a half an inch in around the whole thing and when we cut it out, this is just gonna lay down in the very bottom of the brooder itself and that way it will uh, keep them from hopefully pecking the bottom. So, let's go ahead.
as you guys can see it didn't turn out absolutely perfect there's still a little bit of spacing at the back but it's going to take care of most of the area and hopefully that'll make it so the chicks will stop pecking at the silver flooring Oh, ho, ho, but they have put shavings in. That is exactly why we have this. Here we go. You gotta go home. Hi right, guys, so uh, we live in the Pacific Northwest, so there's a lot of rain. So for our chickens, while well, there is a screen on top that will protect it from like the local wildlife like coyotes, hawks, possums, raccoons especially, we also want to make sure that they're protected from the rain. We're going to go ahead and build a roof and hopefully that will allow the uh, water to drain right off. Let's get some measurements and we'll get to cutting and we'll get to building.
Alright guys, so I went ahead and went to cut the roofing material and it turns out I have a lot less than I uh, thought I did. So I need to run to the store real fast and I need to go pick up some more of that corrugated plastic and once I do I can come back and we should be able to finish up the roof. Okay guys, so something else that I noticed after I uh, turned off the camera. Not only did I need to get more, but that I actually screwed up the dimensions. So when I measured, I wrote down the number to make sure that I knew exactly what I was going to be cutting. So I cut everything to 37 inches. That's what I needed on two inches of the top and bottom for the roof. So I cut everything and when I put it up there, it was too short, but I wrote it down. That's right guys, I wrote down 47 inches, but I cut 37 inches. So. We're gonna recut everything and we're gonna get it up there and it's gonna look great. Okay guys. So, we didn't get everything done. It happens. We got the chicken brooder situation kind of fixed up. We got the roof on the chicken coop, but we didn't get to the automatic heating system and we didn't get to the painting with the clear coat on the chicken. But <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and turn this into a three part video for modifications to the chicken coop. This will be video one of three. So stay tuned for the rest of those. Uh, as well, we just went and posted a free t-shirt giveaway on Facebook, so go check us out on Facebook. The link is in the description below. Who doesn't love a giveaway? Right? Get your free t-shirt. But uh, anyways, as always guys, from our family to yours, have a great day. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and especially Instagram to stay up to date on all that's going on around the Lovejoy home. If you're interested in helping to support the channel, we have two ways of doing that. First, our GoFundMe. We are crowdsourcing our channel sponsorship. Support shouldn't have to be a commitment. Whether you can donate $1 or more, only donate what you can, when you can. And stay tuned on our YouTube videos and our Instagram, where we'll be asking you what you want to see happen. The link will be in the description below. And second is our merchandise. We have something for everyone. Whether you're in the market for some new work clothes, latest fashion, or back to school clothes for the kids, as well, don't forget to check out our hats, backpacks, and mugs to outfit the whole family. Check out our link below or go to www.spreadshirt.com forward slash to check out all of our products.